Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for April 19th, 2020. So today we have The Secret. Now, this message actually goes very, very deep and it gets a little complicated, but I'm going to try to just give uh, <laughs> the quick explanation of this. But this has to do with the duality within us, the light and the dark, yes? So I think a lot of people, especially in the spiritual community, they see themselves maybe... Some people, they'll, they'll see themselves as bad or broken or needing to be fixed. And so they find their way to spirituality. They answer a calling to remember their soul. They also tend to think, I think a lot of us tend to think that the, whatever battle between good and evil that's going on is happening outside of us. When in reality, all this stuff that people keep thinking is going to happen at any moment it's already in each and every one of your cells. You're the battleground. This is why we've had some troublesome things here because yes, people can feed the darkness or you could feed the light. But people tend to very generically and very on a very surface level think that if you are somebody that calls out a social ill, that you're feeding the darkness. Again, it gets messy because we all have a purpose here. Now, this is the year I think a lot of us are going to be having maybe a little bit of a shift in purpose and I can't wait for it, okay? <laughs> I feel like my shift is coming and um, I'll get to kind of maybe, we'll, we'll see, but maybe get to leave behind the whistleblower kinds of things, which is hard because I know that you know, some of the topics that I'm very passionate about, the reason why I won't turn away is because I know people are being abused. And so, it, you know, I, I will only move on to the next chapter of my purpose when I know something has sparked in those individuals and they've remembered their power and they can start healing, then I can move on from that. But again, when people are just coming from a shallow perspective, maybe, I don't know, maybe it's just like an intellectual perspective, they automatically assume that if you're doing that, you're negative and you're feeding the darkness. That's not true. No, it's not. I know. We've got a lot of people, a lot of practitioners out there who just stay super positive all the time. And that is a great luxury, isn't it? And for some of them, that's their purpose. That's what they're supposed to be doing. They're supposed to help you be balanced. So it's not bad. But <laughs> I am saying like, wait for me, hold the train, okay? <laughs> Because <laughs> I want to get there too. I mean, it's not that I'm not, you know, it's not that I'm not positive ever. 99% uh, of the time I am. But every once in a while I have to come out and call things out. So when we get back to the secret, a lot of times people immediately start thinking of law of attraction. What can I create for myself? But there's going to, it, well, there's not going to be. It's here now. You need to have a deeper awareness of what energies are in you now. We hear people say, this is my soul origin. It's from this place, that place, and the other. When in actuality, you're probably a little bit of everything. As I've been saying for years, the soul is multifaceted. These are just bodies. This isn't your true being, right? So there's a soul within you and that, and there are energies that have infiltrated and people will say, oh, no, I need to be protected. It's already there. Now, I don't know exactly why all that was allowed to happen in the first place. I don't know the mind of God. Check with me tomorrow. If God comes tonight and says, Michelle, I'm going to let you in on some stuff. <laughs> I will report back, I promise, okay? But at least for now, this is as far as we need to go in that understanding. Now, what do we do with that? Well, if we're going to manifest something... You need to be connected to the balance and the harmony and the peace. Think about this. When someone, you've seen this in the spiritual community, someone who is in denial, doing magical thinking, they have created this whole world for themselves to exist in. Can't do nothing with them. They don't show up on time. You guys know I have a thing about that, right? <laughs> <laughs> they don't show up on time, you know, those, they might forget to pay their bills or, you know, whatever, but they, they often find it hard to bring anything, being serious now, 
to bring anything into the physical because everything stays in idea, in emotion. It never goes any further than that. Then you have the other people who are just, you know, they're so on the other side of that spectrum where they don't believe in anything that might be spiritual, right? But the people who are balanced, the truly wise ones, you might say, well, they never engage anybody. No, they don't engage in the way you think. They might not do it outwardly. But I can promise you, a wise person who's standing in front of you seemingly unbothered is doing a lot of soul work in that moment. A lot of assessing. The energy is undulating back and forth. And they're staying steady. Think of being on like something, I don't know, think of something that you need to balance on. That is what we are learning to do. And for now, that's the secret we need to understand. All right. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care. Bye-bye.